What's happening, everybody? This is gonna be for people who are just starting out in the gym. Maybe you've never even set foot inside of a gym. This video should definitely help you out. For some people, the things I talk about in this video may seem like common sense. However, I wanted to make this for people who needed a complete introduction for what they may see inside of the gym. Marie and I had no idea what we were doing when we first started, so I hope this video can help others out there that may be in the same situation that we were in. There's a lot of tips throughout this whole video so be sure to stick around to the end and if you enjoy and feel like this video could help someone get started achieving their goals please be sure to share it and real quick if you have not seen my video where I talk about how I first started and in gym intimidation I highly suggest you go watch that real quick because it'll also give you a basis and an intro on how I got started in the gym and then also talk about gym intimidation if you're having any problems with that all right so you made it into the gym good that's step one is getting up off the couch and into the gym. Now since this video is mainly for beginners, I know a lot of you guys are gonna be very intimidated to heading over to the weights, and that's fine. We're gonna talk about the weight section later. When you walk into the gym, the cardio section is gonna be very enticing to you because it's gonna be a very easy place for you to start. Your first couple weeks should be you getting comfortable with the gym, making it somewhere that you can fall in love with and actually enjoy and looking forward to going to it every day. Even on days you don't feel like going, you need to remind yourself about how every time you do go, you feel great afterwards. I guarantee that if you force yourself to go as soon as you get there you're gonna be so glad that you actually went as far as cardio equipment goes there's only one thing that I really recommend you not wasting your time on and that is actually what she is sitting on here which is the seated bike now this is one that's a little more upright it's better than the other one where you just like lean back and move your legs a little bit that thing is a complete waste of time compared to the other things that you could be spending your time doing while you're here. An easy place and a place that I recommend you start is the treadmill. Set it to incline and set it to a brisk walk and get going. Do keep in mind that if you are going to set it in an incline, don't be holding on to the top of the treadmill like you're about to fall off. Make sure that you're just walking like you're walking up a very steep hill leading to nowhere. Just put your hands down, keep walking, don't hold on to anything. Unless you absolutely have to, like you feel like you're about to fall off, then you'd probably be better off just lessening the incline until you get more used to it and your balance improves. I also absolutely love the Stairmaster. Unfortunately, this gym doesn't have a Stairmaster and it can be pretty difficult for someone to start off on there if they're just getting into fitness because it's one of the more difficult cardio equipments. Once you feel comfortable with going to the gym and coming in here every day and you're ready to really start making some progress, then it's time to head over to the weight room or the weight section. Most days you go to the gym, you should be looking into lifting something, not going straight to cardio. The more muscle mass you have, the more calories you can burn, the quicker you can lose weight and avoid plateaus. And this goes for women and guys that aren't looking to get all muscular and get into bodybuilding or anything. Everyone should be lifting weights. You know, like a lot of women like to talk about the different shapes that they have, like the barrel shape, the apple shape, the pear shape. The only way to get rid of that shape and change your body's composition is to be weightlifting. So I've talked about in the previous video about feeling intimidated by the gym, so go check that out if you are feeling intimidated. But once you get into the gym, you need to come in here with a plan. And don't get caught up with all the different routines and whatnot. At the beginning, just start going do something and you will learn very quickly as you go. Now, in a lot of routines, it's gonna tell you to do a specific exercise, but if your gym does not have that specific exercise, like I know a lot of Planet Fitnesses out there, they don't even have squat racks, so you're not gonna be able to do barbell squat, you're not gonna be able to do barbell bench, you're not gonna be able to do anything with a barbell. So don't trip out by that and don't get freaked out. There's always something in the gym that you can do besides that workout that it said for you to do. A real easy place for you to start is going to be the different machines in the gym. Now as you see on this machine, most machines are going to have kind of what it's working out. So this one shows you that you're going to be working out a little bit of your shoulders, you're going to be working out a little bit of your chest, and it shows you how to do the exercise. Now with every piece of equipment, there's going to be somewhere where you can adjust it to make it more comfortable. So if you were to sit down, let's say I sat down with a seat like this and it's chest press, this is not going to work for me. This feels very awkward, so you're going to want to come and adjust what you are doing to where you feel more comfortable. Now that I can start here, you can push off, and it's much more comfortable than when I first sat down. As I said, the machines are going to be an easy place for you to start because the dumbbells and the barbells, they can be a little overwhelming if you have no idea what you're doing, but those are definitely things that you're going to want to learn how to do. 
But before you learn how to do it, if you want to just come get comfortable, machines are a very simple place to start. If your plan says to do, let's say, 8 to 12 reps, if you sit down and you do 12 reps and it was extremely easy and you know for a fact you could push out way more than 12, you need to heavy up the weight. That's going to be how you figure out what weight to lift is if it's saying 8 to 12, 6 to 10, whatever it's saying, you need to be inside of that rep range without going completely over. Because if you can lift heavier and heavier, you know you need to increase the weight to fit inside that rep range that it's telling you. Something to remember that even though you are increasing the weight and lifting heavier things, you cannot compromise your form. Form is number one above everything. So if you feel something pinching, something hurting, you need to go and watch videos of other people doing each exercise to learn exactly how to do it and then feel comfortable doing it before you start increasing the weight like crazy. When you're getting started, there's always be a modification for each exercise to make it easier for you to begin. For example, I'm always asked about how I got into doing pull-ups, how I was able to start doing so many of them, and this was a huge way right here is band-assisted pull-ups. This will lead you to be able to start feeling comfortable doing pull-ups and get stronger and stronger doing them. So the lovely assistant here is going to show you how to do some band-assisted pull-ups. You're going to put it under your foot. She's real short, so she uses that thing to hop up. And that's it, you put your foot down and you do the pull up, or she's doing chin ups here, which works just fine. So you could see the difference between pull up and chin up. Chin up is where your palms are facing you, pull ups are when your palms are facing outwards like she is doing here. So this is a very, very thick band. So once you feel comfortable and you're able to do a lot of pull ups with this thick band, then you can get a thinner and thinner one until you're doing pull ups without a band at all. This gym actually only has this band, it doesn't have any thinner ones, but your gym may have thinner, thicker, and you can go look around and see what they do have. If even the band assisted pull ups are not allowing you to get your chin above the bar, then something you can always start off with to get your back stronger is the flat pull down. Of course for you to get better and better at any exercise you're gonna have to get stronger in that muscle group so this is going to strengthen your back to make it easier for you to start doing pull ups. I talk about pull ups because that was just a huge goal of mine was to be able to actually do pull ups. A big thing to keep in mind about those is a body weight exercise so the less body weight you have the easier they are to do. Some of the machines depending on where you are are not going to be comfortable at all. So since Maria is very short we have stuff like this row machine here that is very difficult for her to even grab and when she is able to grab it it does not feel comfortable with how she's doing it just the placement of how the machine is made so get comfortable with looking around the gym and finding something that works for you like here she could do the low cable row to exercise the exact same muscle group now right now she has on the close grip attachment but they also have different attachments used to work different parts of your back or you may find one more comfortable than the other for now and there are an absolute ton of different variations for every exercise. We just talked about rows. They have these T-bar rows. They have barbell rows. There's always going to be variations. There's always going to be modifications. And you can always find something to do even if your gym is very minimal and doesn't have all that much. There's probably something in there that you can figure out that's going to work the muscle group that you want to work. Something that's in a lot of gyms is the cable equipment. There's always usually going to be cable equipment in a gym and they all have a ton of different attachments. You know, they got all kinds of stuff. A lot of the things you're going to see is like with the rope, with the bar. Depending on what the exercise is telling you to do is dependent on which attachment you're going to grab and where you're going to have either at the top or at the bottom. Right now it's at the bottom so you could do something like a bicep curl where you can come and pick it up. Once again, pay attention to form. You're keeping your elbows to your side and only moving there. Your elbow should be like a hinge on a lot of these exercises. Your elbow should not be moving. You're gonna see a lot of people come into the gym. They're gonna be doing stuff like this to curl and this is just crazy. So focus on form, learn form, and you'll be a lot more comfortable doing anything else in the gym. So another really popular thing that a lot of people like to do is the rope press down for their triceps. So as I said, it's very dependent on what exercise you're doing is where everything is going to be. So for here, for triceps, you're gonna wanna be at the top for a rope press down. You need to find out how to work the equipment. A lot of stuff is gonna have a different color indication on where you need to pull and that's how you're gonna control the machine. But once you've got it to where it looks like it was and that you watched her, you watched someone do form, I do recommend that even though you're going to see a lot of people at the gym, 
that you go focus on videos of people that have shown on YouTube on how to do your form. Now I'm not going to get into exact form of how to do all, all of these different exercises because that's going to be saved for a different video entirely. This is just a complete, quick, brief round to get you into the gym. This is for complete beginners that are scared to even step their foot into the gym. You're gonna start meeting people, you're gonna start seeing people, it's gonna become a lot more comfortable for you to be going in there day after day. Like Jason here, Jason recognized me from my YouTube and from Instagram and stuff and he just walked up to me and was like, yo, what's up, man? So what would you tell a complete beginner going into the gym? I guess when you first start off, it is intimidating at first, but once you start getting used to things, like Ben said, she's gotta stay consistent with it. Stay, it gets a lot easier as you start doing it more often, and you start to love it and enjoy it. Exactly, I mean, once you really start going day after day and you stay consistent, you do not quit, it becomes somewhere where you're going to want to go every day. You're gonna to wanna to get in here to clear your mind, you're gonna to wanna to get in here to feel, and once you really start seeing some progress, you're going to start loving it. You're gonna to wanna to see more and more and more progress. So set your goals, and then achieve those goals. Set new ones, achieve the new ones, and just keep going. Check out how good Jason is doing right here. This is when he started and then show him that next one that you said. Now how far apart is this? This is about nine months apart. About nine months apart, man. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. And you just, you can't stop going. As you just saw over there with the chest press machine, this is going to be the same thing but with dumbbells. So right now we're in the dumbbell section. Most gyms are going to have a dumbbell section and they're going to have movable benches. You know, you can take these benches and put them wherever you're going to feel comfortable doing the exercise. If it's in a very awkward position because someone put it there, feel free to move it and then adjust it to work what you want to do. So as you can see, there's going to be adjustments on pretty much anything in here. Now, as I said, there are variations to each exercise. And even though the machine is going to be a little bit more comfortable for you at first, you're going to really want to start getting into the free weights as soon as you can because this is where you're going to work a lot of your stabilizing muscles. Everything on a machine is on a certain path, but when you're doing stuff like this, you have to stabilize the weight and keep it and you set your own path to the position of where you want it to go. As I said, you need to be looking at videos of people doing these exercises to figure out how to do it and how to use it. And a few things to remember when you're doing stuff in the gym is do not just leave all your weights when you're done and just walk away like you didn't even do anything. Things that a lot of people like, it's kind of just understood and that's some of the gym etiquette, like re-whacking your weights and not just leaving them where they are and wiping the bench after you're done so you don't leave marks on it. Most gyms are gonna have something to wipe the bench or spray it down or something like that. And then if you wanna re-rack your weights and not leave all kinds of plates on the machines, like a perfect example of someone that left their plates on the machine is right here. So if someone like Maria, who is a small girl, comes next, she has to go and unrack those weights in order to use it. So just be kind and re-rack your weights. It helps everyone. Everybody has to start somewhere. So it's just gonna take you getting into the gym, starting, and learning over time. You're gonna learn how to do a ton of stuff about time. Her and I had to start somewhere, and both of us had no idea what we were doing when we first started, but we just started, and we did not stop, and that's what it's gonna take you, is getting in there, getting comfortable with it all, and just not stopping. Don't be afraid to ask someone for help, because a lot of the gym rats are actually really, really nice, and they want to help you, but a lot of them might be thinking that you don't want any help, so they don't they stay out of your business uh, but don't be afraid to ask for help yeah like I will probably never go up to anyone to correct them or do anything like that unless they ask me if someone asks me for help I am absolutely willing to give them any help that they want on anything that they ask for so don't be scared to go and say hey what is this or how do you adjust this can you help me with this anything you need to ask someone they will be willing to help a classic example because i'm so short that sometimes i need help to get the bar from the top setting um a lot of people are very willing to help so just ask them they're really nice so i hope you guys enjoy this video and i hope that it's going to help someone out there start get into the gym and get working on their goals if you are still watching or you guys got anything from this video please do me a favor go on down drop a like and if you haven't already be sure to subscribe I'm gonna be putting out more videos about routines and all kinds of other stuff that can help anyone out there that is and ready to change so I will see you guys in the next video peace